The highly anticipated release of the Sony FX9 II, expected in late 2025, is set to revolutionize the full-frame cinema camera market. Building on the strengths of its predecessor, the Sony FX9, the FX9 II is poised to introduce significant upgrades that will push the boundaries of what a cinema camera can achieve. Sony has always been at the forefront of innovation, and with the FX9 II, they continue this legacy by integrating cutting-edge technology and addressing the evolving needs of modern filmmakers. When the Sony FX9 was introduced in 2019, it set a high standard for full-frame cinema cameras. With its 6K full-frame XMR or CMOS sensor, 15 stops of dynamic range, and advanced autofocus capabilities, the FX9 quickly became a favorite among filmmakers. However, Sony has not rested on its laurels and is now poised to take things further with the Sony FX9 II, a camera that promises to refine and elevate the features that made its predecessor so popular. One of the most significant upgrades expected with the FX9 II is the introduction of a new 8.7 micrometer pixel size DCI 4K HDR BSI sensor. This new sensor is expected to improve not only image quality but also low light performance, dynamic range, and overall versatility. Filmmakers working in diverse environments will find the sensor an attractive option, as it promises to deliver sharper, more detailed images with richer colors. The improved sensor will also help the FX9 II maintain superior image quality in challenging lighting conditions, making it a powerful tool for professionals in cinema, television, and documentary production. Another exciting upgrade that the Sony FX9 II is expected to feature is the inclusion of multi-base ISO settings. This feature will allow filmmakers to optimize the camera's performance based on different lighting conditions, achieving better color accuracy and extended dynamic range without compromising image quality. This enhancement places the FX9 II in direct competition with high-end cinema cameras like the Arri Alexa and the RED Komodo, as it offers similar capabilities at a more accessible price point. The multi-base ISO will also allow filmmakers to push the camera's performance further, whether shooting in daylight or in low-light environments, without sacrificing the quality of the final product. The upgraded sensor technology in the FX9 II is expected to enable filmmakers to achieve stunning visuals that could rival, or even surpass, more expensive systems. This could democratize access to high-quality filmmaking tools, allowing independent creators and smaller production companies to produce professional-grade content without the need for prohibitively expensive equipment. The FX9 II, like its predecessor, is expected to retain its exceptional 15 stops of dynamic range and dual-base ISO, both of which were game-changers for low-light shooting. With these features, the FX9 II ensures that filmmakers will have the flexibility and dynamic range they need to capture stunning images in any environment. In addition to these impressive sensor upgrades, the Sony FX9 II is expected to support DCI 4K recording at higher frame rates, potentially up to 120 frames per second. This increase in frame rate capability would make the FX9 II an ideal tool for filmmakers looking to capture ultra-smooth slow-motion footage. Such an upgrade would cater to creators working in action-packed genres like sports, wildlife, and action filmmaking, where high frame rate recording is essential to capturing fast-moving subjects with incredible detail. The ability to record at 120 FPS will open up new creative possibilities, enabling filmmakers to tell their stories in innovative ways. Another significant advancement in the Sony FX9 II is expected to be its internal RAW recording capabilities. Unlike the original FX9, which required external recorders for ProRes RAW capture, the FX9 II is rumored to offer internal RAW recording, streamlining the workflow for filmmakers. This change would eliminate the need for additional external recorders, simplifying the process and allowing filmmakers to focus more on their craft. The addition of internal RAW recording would also save time during post-production by allowing for higher quality footage to be directly recorded to the camera's memory cards, without the need to offload and sync external devices. Internal ND filters are another feature that could make their way into the Sony FX9 II. This upgrade would be particularly useful for filmmakers who need to control exposure in bright environments without relying on external ND filters. The addition of internal ND filters would simplify the process of adjusting exposure while maintaining a compact and portable camera setup, which is crucial for on-the-go filmmakers. This feature further underscores Sony's commitment to combining the functionality of a high-end cinema camera with the portability and usability of a more compact design. In terms of color science, the Sony FX9 II is expected to build on the reputation established by its predecessor. Sony's color science is known for its ability to render vibrant yet natural tones, making it a favorite among filmmakers working in a variety of genres. 
The improvements in sensor technology and dynamic range are likely to enhance the FX92's ability to capture rich, nuanced images with accurate colors, allowing filmmakers to achieve their creative vision without being limited by their equipment. Whether shooting in daylight, low light, or high contrast environments, the FX92 is expected to provide exceptional color fidelity and dynamic range, giving filmmakers the tools they need to craft stunning visuals. Ergonomics and usability are also key considerations for the Sony FX92. The original FX9 was widely praised for its modular design and intuitive layout, which made it easy for filmmakers to operate even during extended shooting sessions. The FX92 is expected to refine these aspects further, with improved button placements, a redesigned grip, and possibly a sleeker form factor. These changes would enhance user comfort, ensuring that filmmakers can operate the camera for long periods without experiencing discomfort or fatigue. The improvements to ergonomics are expected to make the FX92 even more user-friendly, catering to the demands of professional users who need reliable, intuitive tools for their work. Connectivity is another area where the Sony FX92 is expected to shine. As the filmmaking industry continues to embrace digital workflows, the FX92 is rumored to include advanced streaming and cloud connectivity options. These features would enable filmmakers to transfer footage quickly, collaborate in real-time, and streamline post-production processes. The ability to upload and share footage directly from the camera would save time and simplify workflows, particularly for productions with tight deadlines. These connectivity features align with Sony's broader strategy to position its cameras as essential tools for modern filmmakers, enabling them to work more efficiently and creatively. Pricing for the Sony FX92 is expected to fall in the range of $12,000 to $14,000, reflecting the significant upgrades and professional-grade capabilities it offers. While this price point is higher than the original FX9, the added value in terms of features, performance, and versatility justifies the increase. The FX92's competitive pricing strategy ensures that it remains accessible to a broad spectrum of filmmakers, from independent creators to seasoned professionals. This approach makes the FX9 to an attractive option for filmmakers who need cutting-edge technology without the prohibitive cost of other high-end cinema cameras. The timing of the Sony FX92's release is also significant. With an expected launch in late 2025, the FX92 will enter a competitive market, facing stiff competition from other high-end camera manufacturers like Arri, Canon, and RED. However, Sony's consistent track record of innovation and its ability to integrate cutting-edge technology with practical usability give the FX9 to a strong chance of standing out in the crowded cinema camera market. By building on the strong foundation laid by the FX9 and addressing its limitations, the FX9 II is poised to set a new benchmark in the full-frame cinema camera category. The release of the Sony FX9 II also has broader implications for the cinema camera landscape. With its advanced features, competitive pricing, and compact design, the FX9 II is poised to challenge the dominance of industry giants like Arri and RED. This could force these companies to innovate further, ultimately benefiting the entire filmmaking community. Additionally, the FX92's introduction underscores Sony's commitment to empowering filmmakers with tools that combine cutting-edge technology with practicality, making professional filmmaking more accessible and efficient. For filmmakers who find the FX92 to be too expensive or overkill for their needs, Sony has a solution in the form of the upcoming Sony FX32. Slated for release in Q2 2025, the FX32 builds on the success of the FX3 while introducing key upgrades like improved button placement and an optional electronic viewfinder. The FX32 is expected to feature a global shutter, which would eliminate rolling shutter issues, along with stellar low-light performance, dynamic range, and 8K capabilities. Priced between $3,842 and $5,000, the FX32 promises to be a game-changer for filmmakers seeking a more affordable alternative to the FX92 without compromising on quality. As the countdown to the late 2025 release of the Sony FX92 continues, the excitement surrounding the camera is a testament to its potential to redefine the future of cinema cameras. By combining groundbreaking technology with practical features, the FX9 II is poised to become a powerful tool for filmmakers around the world. The introduction of this camera marks a new chapter in Sony's commitment to providing filmmakers with the tools they need to create high-quality content, and it will undoubtedly influence the direction of the entire cinema camera industry for years to come.